An anteriorly rotated anomenate causing a functional long leg requires posteriorization. With the patient supine, using the legs as a lever, palpate the joint margins of the sacroiliac joint. Place the finger pads over the medial aspect of the PSIS, thus along the joint line of the sacroiliac joint. We then assess for quality and quantity of motion. It is usually felt that the posterior superior iliac spine is less prominent on the dysfunctional side. The operator stands on the opposite side of the dysfunction. We move the shoulders so that the upper torso is side bent away. Therefore, the shoulders closest to you are slightly away from you. Have the patient interlace the fingers behind the back of the neck. We now cross the leg on the opposite side over the leg nearest to you. We now move them towards the opposite side of the table, hence the patient is smile away. This helps to focus the force at the left sacroiliac joint. We now insert the cephalad arm so that the dorsum is resting on the sternum. Introduce rotation through your cephalad arm, pivoting the shoulder and the patient's upper torso towards you. Place the cordad hand over the anterior superior iliac spine on the opposite side. Continue rotation from above until the force is felt to accumulate under your cordad hand. Perform a high velocity, low amplitude thrust with the cordad hand. The vector of force is obliquely towards the opposite side of the couch. Thus, do not over-rotate as the force will not accumulate at the sacroiliac joint.